Thank you. To the holidays, many college-bound seniors have tough decisions right now. Yeah, you gotta decide which college you're gonna go to. Most applications are in by now, and students have to figure out which one is really the best fit. So, family psychologist Dr. Wes Crenshaw is with us this morning, and college sophomore Katie Gallo. Did I say it right? <laughs> Gio. Gio. Very close. Gio. Dr. West, what goes wrong with college choices at this point? So many things. Kids, we're, we do this kind of weird thing where we ask 17-year-olds to plan their college and their career when they're not really developmentally prepared to do any of that, and yet it is what it is. You, you've got to do it. And so a lot of times kids aren't, don't really have very good vocational identity, and what that means is they don't really know what they want to be when they grow up or what they want to study in college, and so that makes that decision that much more difficult. And uh, then they'll tend to pick colleges based on an emotional decision, like right. they love the Jayhawk or they want to wave the wheat. And I certainly enjoy that, but it isn't really the criteria you want to base a college education choice on. Now, Katie, uh, two years ago you were faced with deciding on a college that you would attend. Tell us which college you chose and how you got there from your choice. Um, so I'm at Kenyon College in Gambier, Ohio, which is the middle of nowhere. It's a very small school. Um, and I picked a small liberal arts school because I wanted to select a school where I would be both academically successful but also socially successful. And so I wanted a, a small environment where I could get to know my professors but also feel like I was a big part of the campus community. And so I thought a university would not be the place for me, especially because I also didn't want to select like a school of journalism or a school of mathematics and then be fixed um, in that small bubble of people and subjects when I didn't know what I was doing with my life, but I still don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's okay. Two years yeah. in, have you found the success that you were hoping for? I did. I did. I think it was definitely the right choice for me, and I'm glad because I've switched subjects a lot, and I'm able to do that where I am. That's awesome. good. So how, Dr. West, how do parents and kids work together to improve the chance for success like she's had? Well, they really do have to put a lot of effort into it, the kid most of all, because again, we're asking young people to do what Katie was describing, and that is to know yourself at a time when knowing yourself is still in process. And so parents can really encourage kids to do what we call differentiation. This is the idea that you have to become your own person, not just who other people see you as or want you to be. And uh, parents can encourage that. Too often parents miss the child or anticipate missing the child and make it more difficult for the child to separate or to think about going to, say, an out-of-state college. And then to really, if, if all else fails, and even if it's going pretty well, getting a therapist or a career coach for a child at this age, if you can put a few hundred dollars into that in high school, you may save yourself thousands of dollars yes. uh, over the coming years of programs that aren't really meeting the need or matching the child's interest. Yeah. Now, you two are writing a book together, right? Tell us we more are. about that. It's called Consent-Based Sex Education, uh, Guiding Kids in an Internet Age. And we're going to be running a Kickstarter, as a matter of fact, starting in <laughs> February to fund uh, Katie's internship next summer. We like to keep the college student authors busy. <laughs> and uh, funded and that's going to be a, a book really that will help parents today uh, know what to do with kids on issues of sexuality right in 2015 not 10 years ago where a lot of books are uh, still everything being from mm -hmm. what's on the internet to sexting all of those issues that they've got to teach their kids about yes and we'll be back to give a really good list of some of that stuff we're going to talk about online explicit content we're going to talk about uh, how to have very specific courageous conversations with kids and we're even going to have videos uh, of uh, vignettes with kids that are actors that are uh, going to be talking about different issues that kids struggle with and how a parent can best respond to that because most parents will have to at some point. Thank Very you. Very good. Good to see you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. you can learn more about Katie and Dr. West along with their Kickstarter campaign and the progress on their book at dr-west.com. If you're still